Did you know that items like your shampoo, hand soap, and even makeup are made by a chemist? Meet Samantha. She is a consumer chemist. A chemist is a scientist who is an expert at how chemicals mix and react with other things. A consumer chemist is a scientist that uses chemicals to make products for consumers. A consumer is someone who purchases a product. For example, hand lotion is a product a consumer chemist would make. Some consumer chemists make products to clean your home, like for the bathroom and kitchen. Other consumer chemists make items for pets. Most consumer products are a combination of many types of chemicals. For example, some glass cleaners have a chemical called isopropyl alcohol in it. Right now, Samantha makes consumer chemical products for your body. Today, she is creating a combination of chemicals for a new shampoo. Samantha creates products in a lab. Just like a kitchen is stocked with ingredients to cook things, Samantha's lab is stocked with different chemicals she can combine to make a new product like shampoo. To make the shampoo, Samantha chooses several different chemicals to use including a detergent and coconut oil. Samantha measures the weight of each of the chemicals she will add into the shampoo. That way, she will know how much of each chemical is in the shampoo. She measures 250 grams per cubic centimeters of the chemical detergent that can clean dirt out of your hair. Grams per cubic centimeter is the unit of weight measurement for liquids. She then measures 50 grams per cubic centimeters of coconut oil. Coconut oil makes hair smooth and shiny. Samantha measures a few more chemicals, and these chemicals have a total weight of 75 grams per cubic centimeters. Next, Samantha writes down how much all of the ingredients weigh together. The total weight is 375 grams per cubic centimeters. She records all of the weights on her iPad. Finally, Samantha is ready to combine her chemical ingredients to make the shampoo. Samantha adds all the ingredients together. The shampoo has a weight of 375 grams per cubic centimeters. Even though she mixed the chemicals together, they still weigh the same amount. This is because mixing chemicals together does not change the weight of each one. She records this on her iPad. Now that the shampoo has been made, Samantha needs to have consumers test it out. That way, she can see if people like it and decide if she should make any changes to the recipe. Now it's your turn to go on an adventure as a consumer chemist. What products will you create?